What's up, world? It's your main man, Chaziel Sons. And I haven't really been hitting nobody in the head. I've been doing a whole lot of growth, a whole lot of growing in the last about year and a half, two years. And I want to make this video because, you know, I haven't really, I've been concentrating on just family and, and, fr and close friends and whatnot and just kind of leaving the movement to the professionals. And it was just like, you know, I'm going I'm to uh, basically say it like this. Around the time I say... Mm, probably the end of 2015 somewhere in there probably going into 2016 I started to notice um, I began to notice infiltrators coming into the movement which is already it was, it's been like this for a long time but I actually started to see them all online making fake pages and basically these fake people part of uh the black movement or whatever you want to call it uh were basically you know feeding off our emotions trying to trying to get us involved in things that we're not involved in trying to get us to believe in things that we weren't familiar with and basically pushing us far to be more left and democratic and one thing i want to say right now is if you are a revolutionary or anything like that you don't even believe you're not even supposed to believe in politics so for the people who still are believing that this movement this black movement even some of these white movements are legit man you have a lot of growing to do i'm gonna say it again you have a lot of growing to do and i'm gonna concentrate right now anyway on the black leaders okay the black leaders a lot of the black leaders and i want i want to i want to hit with this video the lot of the black leaders are straight leading us to our demise okay they have us working doing their dirty work for is their dirty work i mean the far left's dirty work they got us working basically for them because how they're getting us is they're playing us emotionally and they're basically saying how racist and how messed up guys are the far right and the neo-nazis are because they need all the help that they can get so they're getting the gays they're getting people of other cultures the people of the far left i'm talking about the far left i'm getting somewhere with this they're getting gays they're getting uh black people anybody who doesn't like donald trump they're basically trying to get you to fight for a war that is being started on American turf very very soon and they want us to be a part of their side what I'm trying to get the black population to understand and overstand and this is critical is the movement has been compromised okay I, I, everybody needs to know that the RBG movement has been compromised BLM if you are not caught up to BLM it is not even a real black organization it never was i actually feel bad that i've been keeping a lot of this information cooped up for so long but i just felt like you know it wasn't getting anywhere but now things are about to go ahead and hit the fan anyways if you have any kind of brain you know blm is endorsed by the soros in the uh clinton family if you have any kind of a brain, you know that those same people don't give a damn about you, don't give a damn about black people, don't give a damn. They're exploiting the black plight to make money off of you. 
they're using your emotions and based off what has happened to you they're using that against you so you can join these evil demonic people to help the help fight the people on the far right they want or not even the far right i want to make this simple the left is going against the right it's a huge civil war that's being planned out. I want to make this simple. It's happening right now. And what they want is for everybody to choose a side consciously or subconsciously. Now, a lot of these white boys and a lot of these white people, they've already chosen their side. Okay. And what I'm saying to these people is, my people, is you're setting yourself to get setting yourself up to get slaughtered. Okay, become armed. Okay, become aware. Know what's going on within the system, because right now there is hidden powers who are controlling the narrative, and they're brainwashing you to feel a certain way about the system about white people about every race and about yourselves do not let these beasts do not let these evil people do this and i'm not talking about any particular right man you got black people man like i said the movement has been compromised the move there is no black rbg movement if you were claiming blm you a real sad motherfucker for the simple fact that BLM has always and, and from the very beginning was being promoted and being paid for by Soros and Clinton. If you think that these people who don't who've never given a damn about you, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they care about the black man's plight. All of us, man, y'all pay attention. Y'all really got to pay attention. I'm getting somewhere with this, I promise. All of a sudden, these white people on the left, and they've been doing this, but all of a sudden, they, you know, are supporting the black plight. This is all... So this is all to get as many numbers as they can on their side to fight this civil war that they're planning out that they're already being prepared for you're going to have to choose a side don't set yourself up to get slaughtered this is all a big setup it's huge propaganda the biggest propaganda that could be happening right now and what i want people to understand and overstand and understand is that the, we got to put the race thing to the side right now we have to put it to the side because we have to understand what's going on and what's important and the reason why it's so important on black people because i know black people are like okay the left versus the right what does that have to do with us because the people on the left are trying to use us the people on the left are using us the democratic party are using black people to fight their war with antifa with uh it's getting very very deep if you don't know who antifa is look antifa up uh uh basically a terrorist group i don't know what people belief system is you can call them what you want to call them but they're they're basically like a, 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 a militant group and they're anti-fascist that's what antifa stands for it stands for anti-fascist and with that being said this group is being paid for by you guessed it the younger rothschilds the clintons and the soros and the media is downplaying this uh uh this group they're not telling people about this group but people on the far left are trying to get black people 
and as many people who are part of the far left to join this side. And what they want to do is they want to take the guns away from the people on the far right. Their whole plan is to even a playing field because the people on the far right, they deal with guns. They have all the guns. And right now, as it stands, the people on the left are set to get slaughtered. That's why they're pushing gun laws. They're pushing gun laws for the simple fact that if you're able to take some of these guns away, because Trump is in, in implementing more gun laws. I don't care what people feel about Trump. This isn't, I'm not reacting going feelings right now. I don't want people to come and be talking about how they feel about people. You think I'm a big Trump fan? No. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just giving the information as I get it. This is happening, yo. This is happening right now. November 4th is the day that Antifa has began and has pledged that this war is going to begin. November 4th, 2017. And I want everybody to know that it's already here with this whole Las Vegas thing. Okay. With them attacking that country movie, uh, that country uh, in Las Vegas, that country music show or whatever in Las Vegas, it was pretty much all white people. That was a direct hit. That was a direct hit from the left party. I don't know if you can say Antifa did it, but it was a direct hit from the left going against the right. What I want black people, my people to understand is don't get involved in something that has nothing to do with y'all and take this information. Don't let the blacks and Hispanics to run with this information. Take this information, run with this information. This information is out there. If you don't take my word for it, do your own damn research. Because I'm, a, it may be some things that I'm not wording right. It may be some things that I'm not saying right. I'm trying to get people to understand, my people in particular, to understand, and everybody to understand that our little minor differences right now. Because trust me, I'm pro-black. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm representing. It don't matter right now, though. It don't matter right now, though. It don't matter. I don't. You, 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 you don't fuck with black people and you white. Hey, man, that's your prerogative. That's not what the conversation is right now. That's not what what's going on right now is so much bigger, so much bigger than the race issue. And if people ask me, Chaz, Chaziel, so which side are you go choose? Which side are you going with? If you got to choose the smart side, I'm damn sure not to go about to go over there with Hillary and the Soros. Come on, you got to use your brain. As much as we, you have to be strategic in your movements. As much as you feel however you feel about the right, they are straightforward. The people on the left are lying to you and trying to get you to do that dirty work and get slaughtered. We represent 12% of the population. Okay. You can be whatever you want to be. I ain't trying to dictate what you want to do, but just be strategic in how you move, man. You black people are still running around talking about hands up, don't shoot. Talking about uh, taking knee, kneeling at the uh, the football game. You got celebrities being endorsed by these because they know the best way to get Negroes is through entertainment. We're in, in we're entertained. But these white people on the far right, they they ready, you know, and I ain't trying to juice nobody up. I'm trying to gas nobody up, man. I ain't got time for it. I'm just giving you the information as I'm presenting it. I ain't got time to try to gas them up and try to make it sound like it's this and this that. Look, man, all I'm saying is, hey, they, they got their guns. They ready to go. They ready to go. While we're sitting up trying to be cute, drinking white tears and shit, this is serious, yo. And emotionally, they're going to get you attached to their little movement, Antifa and all this bullshit, to get your head blown off. Strategically learn how to move. Running around with RBG shirts talking about fuck America. What 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 part 
of str strategy is that? But this has already been 15 minutes, man. It is so much more. That's not even. That's not. That's not even the tip of the iceberg. The video almost already 15 minutes long. Do your own research, and then white people, you do it because I ain't trying to make this about race. They coming after you, white, black, Mexican. They are coming after us. I just want to put that out there, let y'all know for a minute. Hey, man, this is what's going on. Go on and arm yourselves. Your man, man, Chaziel Sons. God bless. College.